Yes, in this session, we are going to discuss about the uh, bilinear transformation. Uh, mainly, the bilinear transformation is used for transforming an analog filter to a digital filter. Transformation from analog filter to a digital filter. It transforms the imaginary axis of S plane into the inut circle in the Z plane only once, thus avoiding aliasing of frequency components. So in this mapping, all points in the left half of S plane are mapped inside the unit circle in the Z plane. And all points and all points in the right half of S plane are mapped outside the unit circle in the Z plane. Regarding this one, we'll discuss thoroughly one by one. First, uh, we'll consider first order differential equation of an analog system. I'm going to consider first order differential first order differential equation of an analog system. That is, let us represent first order means differentiating one time of output of the system that is equal to x of t. Let us represent as a equation number one. To find y of t, to find y of t, the limits we have to take uh, n minus one multiplied by t and n t. We have to take the limits n minus one multiplied by t and n t where t is the sampling period where t is the sampling period so we have to integrate the both sides of equation one with respect to t and we will get integrating the first equation equation number one with respect to t and by using these limits, we can write the above equation, equation number one, as integrating n minus one multiplied by t. This is lower limit, and upper limit is n t. Differentiation of what? Y of t into dt. That is equal to. That is equal to integration n minus one into t and t x of t multiplied by t so i'm going to represent this as equation two so the trapezoidal rule we know when integration is approximated by two trapezoids so i'm going to write that rule integration formula integration of limits a and b differentiation of y of sorry Differentiation of f of x dx is equal to b minus a divided by 2 and f of a plus f of b. So this is the integration formula. By using this integration formula, we can simplify equation 2 as uh, observe here what? y of t integration and depression get cancels y of t and what about limits upper limit is n multiplied by t this is n minus 1 into t that is equal to integration n minus 1 into t n t x of t into dt okay now uh, make use of this formula before that, I'm going to substitute the limits. Uh, that is, upper limit is what? In, in place of t, I'm going to write nt, y of nt minus y of n minus 1 into t. This is about LHS. Similarly, coming to RHS, uh, let us make use of this formula. And we can write b minus a. b minus a means, what is b? Upper limit is b. So, b minus a a is what lower limit that is n minus 1 into t divided by 2 
f of a and integration of this one so integration of this one you can write uh, x of nt plus x of n minus 1 into t okay for the simplification y of nt minus y of n minus 1 into t that is equal to uh, nt minus nt minus into minus plus plus t divided by 2 x of nt plus x of n minus 1 into t okay for the simplification so this remains same lhs and nt nt get cancels and what we're getting t by 2 into x of nt plus x of n minus 1 into t okay this is rhs and there is no change in the lhs i'm going to write as it is y of nt minus y of n minus 1 into t so likewise we simplify now i'm going to assume as see here let let us assume y of n as y of nt then then if i assume like this then y of n minus 1 we are going to write it as y of n minus uh, y of n minus 1 into t okay similarly uh, for this input sequence x of n if i assumed as x of nt and then x of n minus 1 we can write it as x of n minus 1 into t okay so all these assumptions i'm going to substitute say in this equation number four all these assumptions i'm going to substitute in the equation number four then equation four becomes then equation four becomes y of n if this becomes y of n minus this one we can write as y of n minus one y of n minus one is equal to uh, t by two as it is then uh, x of nt x of nt we can write as x of n Similarly, x of n minus 1 multiplied by t, that one we are going to write it as x of n minus 1. Okay, fine. So let us represent it as equation number 5. Now, take the jet transform. Take the jet transform for this equation number 5, and we are getting as apply jet transform for the above equation. Then we are getting jet transform of y of n is y of z minus z to the power minus 1 y of z because one time delay is there coming to the rhs side t by 2 as it is z transform of x of n is x of z and this is z to the power minus 1 into x of z okay now from the lhs i will take y of z outside then what what left here left with 1 minus z to the power minus 1 so i have taken y of z common similarly in the rhs side i will take x of z common what left 1 plus z to the power minus 1 so what we take an x of z common okay next so the same equation i'm going to express in terms of x of z then if you are expressing the above equation in terms of x of z then it becomes t will go to the numerator 2 and it will go to the denominator 2 by t 1 minus z to the power minus 1 divided by this will go to the denominator 1 plus z to the power minus 1 okay. multiplied by y of z okay that is represent as equation number Okay, now we are converting. Uh, why? Uh, upwards, I will tell why we are doing all these things. Because as I told earlier, uh, 
uh, binding a transformation is used for what? Transforming an analog filter to digital filter. So it transforms the imaginary axis of S S plane into minute circle in the Z plane. So because of that train, the values of S plane are mapping to Z plane. How we are going to map? Because of that reason, we are doing all these calculations. Now I will take uh, I will take the Laplace transform. Take Laplace transform for the above equation. Take the, take the Laplace transform for the above equation. Then uh, what we are writing? Laplace transform. This one is x of s. Not this one. Take the Laplace transform of equation number one. Equation number one is what? This one. Laplace transform of equation number one. So Laplace transform of x of t is x of s, and this is s into y of s. Okay. This also I will write it as equation number seven. Now compare equation six and seven. In the LHS, x of z is there. In the RHS, x of s is there. Okay, fine. And coming to the RHS, y of z is there, y of s is there. Map. Then what about s? In place of s, we have 2 by t multiplied by 1 minus z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus z to the power minus 1. Hence, from this comparison, comparing equation 6 and 7, comparing equation 6 and 7, what we got? We got s equal to s equal to 2 by t 1 minus z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus z to the power minus 1. Okay. So if you are expressing the same value in terms of positive values, positive power of z, then we can write it as then we can write it as s equal to 2 by t as it is positive power of z z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 so these two equations these two equations what this indicates from this equation we can say that s plane to z plane mapping what this indicates s plane is mapped to z plane so next we'll discuss how we are going to map s plane to z plane Yes, plane to jet play mapping will discuss. Okay. Now, see here the mapping of S plane to jet plane by bilinear transformation is one to one mapping the mapping of s plane to z plane by the method of bilinear transformation is one to one mapping that is for every point in z plane there is a exactly one corresponding point in the s plane and vice versa so how we are going to map the points of s plane to z plane we we'll discuss the transformation is done by we know that s equal to 2 divided by t multiplied by 1 minus z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus z to the power minus 1. And this is in terms of positive powers of z. So from this equation, so let us take towards LHS, it becomes t by 2 into s, z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. And then I will take z plus 1 towards the LHS multiplication left with what RHS z minus 1. Multiply this uh, t by 2 into s, whatever the terms are present in the bracket. So it becomes t by 2 s into z plus t by 2 into s. That is equal to z minus 1. Then nothing but we are expressing in terms of uh, this equation. We are going to express in terms of z. Now, further, I am going to take C here. Uh, t by 2 s z minus z. Nothing but the terms wherever z is present, I'm taking one side. The terms wherever s is present, taking I'm taking other side. So here z is present, here also z is present. So I will take this z towards the LHS because of that reason t by 2 s z minus z 
that is equal to minus one as it is minus one if you take this turn towards rhs it becomes minus three by two into s okay so for the simplification i will take the z common from this minus z i will take common if i take minus z it becomes plus one and it becomes minus three by two into s is equal to minus i will take common one plus p by two into s okay next minus minus get cancels left with what z this term i will take towards the rhs it becomes z equal to one plus p by two into s divided by one minus p by two into s so equation two now i'm going to uh give the explanation about by comparing equation one and seven two see here equation one tells us that it is the expressive in terms of s frame here we express in terms of z frame we know that s equal to sigma plus j omega complex quantity complex value and s plane value image real part and imaginary part and in case of z plane z equal to r into e to the power j omega so put these values in equation one let us substitute the values s equal to and z equal to. substitute in equation one what we are getting substitute s equal to sigma plus j omega here and z equal to wherever z is there substitute r multiplied by e to the power j omega and do the simplification in the lhs sigma plus j omega equal to 2 by t uh, z is there r into j to the power minus uh, r multiplied by e to the power j omega minus 1 similarly r multiplied by e to the power j omega plus 1 e to the power j theta nothing but we are going to write as what cos theta plus j sin theta similarly i written here and do simplification and factorize and finally we are getting as simplification and factorization and we are getting as sigma plus j omega equal to 2 by t r square minus 1 divided by r square plus 1 plus 2 r cos omega this is real part plus j 2 by t uh, 2 r sin omega divided by r square plus 1 plus 2 r cos omega so equating the real part real part is what this is sigma sigma equal to this much and omega equal to this much so let us see let us represent equation 3 and 4 fine how we are going to map see very simple this here r stands for radius of jet plane r stands for radius of jet plane as i told it is one to one mapping for every point of s plane is mapped to every point of jet plane so first case if r is less than 1 if r is less than 1 these three cases we'll discuss with an example if r is less than 1 we get sigma less than 0 thus it means left hand side of s plane this is s plane this is s plane this is s plane left hand of s plane is mapped inside the unit circle this is this is the z plane z plane having the radius r equal to 1 r equal to 1 means the radius of the circle is 1 the radius of the circle is it is 1 so if we are having the case if value of r is less than 1 if value of r less than 1 and we get what we are getting sigma less than 0 this means left hand of s plane is mapped to where inside the unit circle in the z plane second case if r is greater than 1 r is greater than means outside the circle r less than r is less than 1 means inside the circle because this circle is having the radius 1 if less than 1 inside the circle greater than 1 outside the circle okay if r is greater than 1 we will get sigma greater than 0 sigma greater than 0 means right side of s plane so then it means the right hand side of s plane is mapped outside the circle of jet plane if it happens when when r is greater than 1 and sigma is greater than 0 it means last case if r equal to 1 exactly on the circle we will get sigma equal to 0 this means j omega axis vertical axis in s plane is mapped into 
unit circle in the Z plane. That is what R equal to R. For all these cases, I indicated notations. This is first what left side of S plane is mapped inside, uh, right side of S plane is mapped outside. Uh, J omega axis vertical axis of S plane is mapped to it on the circle of Z plane. So these three cases we have to discuss. Okay. Next, we will move on to the frequency wrapping. What is meant by frequency wrapping? We will discuss. Frequency wrapping nothing but the relation between analog and digital frequency in bilinear transformation. Frequency wrapping. The meaning of frequency wrapping means we are finding the relationship between analog and digital frequency. But we are this uh, case nothing but frequency wrapping we are performing in terms of bilinear transformation. So consider equation four. Already we got this equation that is uh, uh, imaginary part that is ohm equal to two by t two r sine omega divided by r square plus one plus two r cos omega. To obtain the relationship between analog frequency omega and digital frequency w, we have to execute our equation on j omega axis. Nothing but they should lie on the vertical axis. Nothing but on the z plane on the circle. It happens when r equal to one. And this z circle and the circle means on the unit circle means the value of r should be one. Wherever r is there, substitute one. It becomes omega equal to two by t. R equal to one means two sine omega divided by one square. That is one plus one two cos omega. Let us express sine theta by two cos theta by two. Sine theta is expressed in terms of two sine theta. Sine theta is expressed in terms of two sine theta by two cos theta by two. And further, two plus two cos omega. I will take two common then. Two multiplied by one plus cos omega. For the simplification, here observe here. What we are getting? Two sine omega by two, cos omega by two as it is. One plus cos theta we can write. What? Two cos square theta by two. Okay. Two cos square theta by two. Two to get cancels. And only left with what? Two by two. Two by t. 2 by t left with and these two these two get cancels and this is written as it is and 1 plus cos theta is written as 2 cos square theta by 2. So for the simplification uh, cos omega by 2 is there cos square omega by 2 is there 1 cos omega by 2 is get cancels only left with what 2 2 get cancels sin omega by 2 divided by cos omega by 2. So sine theta divided by cos theta, we can write as a tan theta. Yeah, theta equal to omega by 2, w by 2. Hence, omega equal to 2 by t tan of omega by 2. Let us write as a equation number 5. What about omega? We want frequency value at Omega stands for frequency. Omega equal to 2 tan inverse of ohm t by 2. Our equation gives the, the relationship between the analog frequency and digital frequency. So frequency wrapping means what? The non-linear relationship between analog frequency omega and digital frequency w is called as frequency wrapping. Once again, I'll repeat. Frequency wrapping means there is a relationship between analog and digital frequency. Analog frequency is represented as ohm and digital frequency is represented as w. Hence, frequency wrapping is what? It is the non-linear relationship between analog frequency and Digital frequency. It is called as frequency wrapping. Now we'll see uh, numericals on uh, bilinear transformation. See, it is the given uh, statement. The system function of the analog filter is given as h of s equal to s plus 0.1 divided by s plus 0.1 whole square plus 16. Obtain the system function of the digital filter using bilinear transformation, which is resonant at resonant frequencies given omega r equal to pi by 2. So, how to solve this example? First, I will write out the given data h of s equal to s plus 0.1 divided by s plus 0.1 square plus 16. From the denominator, we can write the poles. So denominator indicates the force of the analog filter. I will take S plus 0.1 whole square plus 16 equal to split the terms 
s plus 0.1 minus j4 multiplied by s plus 0.1 plus j4. If you multiply this, these two things, you will get the same answer. Hence, hence, what s equal to equate to the 0, equate this term to the 0 and equate this term to the 0, then what will get s equal to minus 0.1 it becomes plus plus j4 and s equal to minus 0.1 minus j4 there are two complex conjugate poles we are getting after equating these two things to the zero we are getting two complex conjugate both are complex conjugate cut absorb here plus is there minus is there there are two complex conjugate poles we are getting we know that s equal to sigma plus j omega and compare these two things s equal to what sigma plus j omega compare these two things Sigma equal to what? Minus 0.1. Absolutely correct. Omega equal to what? It may be plus 4 or it may be minus 4. So because of that reason, we return plus or minus 4. The H of S, H of S will be resonant at S equal to minus 0.1 plus or minus J4. So combination of these two things, we are writing plus or minus J4. Here, by using bilinear transformation, we should map. We should map omega equal to 4. We should map what, map what? Omega equal to 4. Into, it is given. Omega r equal to resonant at 5 by 2. So that is, and as I told, frequency wrapping means uh, nothing but we are converting analog frequency to digital frequency. Analog frequency we calculated that is 4. It has the value 4. And is asking for what? He's asking for what? Obtain the system function of the digital filter using bilinear transformation, which is resonant at pi by 2. So, 4, the analog frequency 4 is a map to map to where digital frequency having pi by 2. And this relationship between omega and w is given as already we discussed ohm equal to 2 by t tan of w by 2. And we know t equal to rearrange the terms t equal to. Uh, take t towards LHS, it becomes 2 by ohm tan of omega w by 2. Fine. Let us substitute the values. We know the value of ohm. ohm. I am going to substitute ohm equal to what? 4. t equal to 2 by 4 tan of w is given that is pi by 2 divided by 2. So 2 by 2, 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. It becomes pi by 4. So simplify and we get the answer 1 by Hence, we got t equal to 1 by 2. This means if you select time period t equal to 1 by 2, then the resonant frequency, then the resonant frequency that is ohm equal to 4 of analog filter will map into uh, wr equal to pi by 2 of digital filter in bilinear transformation. This one we concluded. So, how we are going to map? S plane to Z plane mapping already we discussed. This is the formula for that. S equal to 2 by T 1 minus Z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus Z to the power minus 1. So T we calculated that is T equal to what? 1 by 2 substitute. It becomes what? S equal to 4 1 minus Z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus Z to the power minus 1. What we performed here? It is the S to Z transformation. Next. Now we are finding the what? System function of digital filter. So putting this value of S, wherever S is there in the given system function, I am going to substitute as 4 multiplied by 1 minus j to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus j to the power minus 1. Hence, H of z equal to, uh, what is the equation? We can refer, S plus point 0.1 is there. S means, this is S plus 0.1 divided by s plus 0.1 whole square is there s equal to what this value you have to substitute plus 16 is there and do the simplification of numerator and denominator we will get h of z equal to 0.128 plus 0 0.006 z to the power minus 1 minus 0.122 z to the power minus 2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.006 z to the power minus 1 plus 0 0.975 z to the power minus 2. This is in terms of negative power subject, the same equation. The other equation, if you are expressing in positive power subject means 
multiply the numerator by z square and denominator by z square you will get the answer this answer okay now in the kind of example i will give it as a homework uh, this one and do the calculation and write the answer in the comment box this is the homework for your work transform the nlog filter h of s is equal to s plus 0.1 divided by s plus 0.1 whole square plus 9 in place of 16 i given as a 9 into a digital filter using bilinear transformation the digital filter should have resonant frequency w or equal to pi by 4 in the previous case it is pi by 2 only change that pi by 4 in the previous example it is 16 here i given as a 9 in the previous example digital resonant frequency is pi by 2 but here it is pi by 4 only these two values are changed try to solve this example and put the answer in the comment box thank you